It's a pleasure to work with Nuke here. For me, it's a masterpiece of the work that uh, we do. Definitely the artists love Nuke, as I think as much as I do. They don't think about any other tool, and uh, that's because it allows to really explode their creativity and just put their passion and their set of skills or craftsmanship into each one of the shots. When we set up Outpost in January 2019, C was our first major project. Being quite a fresh company here, we needed to make sure that the software that we use really pulls its weight with the features it offers. So Nuke was a really good tool for that. It has a lot of functionality out of the box. A lot of the plates for the show were shot on location, so there wasn't always time to put down blue screens or shoot LiDARs of the set they were on. So we had to do a lot of tracking, a lot of uh, rotoscoping, a lot of fixing. So Nuke was obviously fundamental for giving us those tools. For me, Nuke is the only tool that can really currently work within the time schedules and technical requirements uh, of episodic productions. In uh, one of the episodes, Outpost created this Lavender Road. There was a lot of back and forth in terms of the layout of the Lavender Road and having the ability to render several CG plans from static cameras and then place them interactively uh, in 3D space in, within Nuke and sort of iterate very quickly was very, very beneficial. Without Nuke, we, we couldn't do our work. If you have to re-render everything, it's just too long. In Nuke, you just place a few lavender bushes, in our case, and change the layout within a few hours. And to render this whole thing again takes at least two days. For C, certainly, we were working in an episodic way. Um, which meant that instead of one project, we were really working on six or seven mini projects. The timelines for those were a little bit shorter. Being able to template up in new with live groups and things like that allow us to make changes to a base template and feed that out to all the other shots and keep people working on those. I cannot just measure, but I can say that it saved us a lot of time when we we're just designing the shot, uh, you know. Let's keep all that and just go straight into Nuke. We can solve it in Comp because we have the tools and we have the 3D assets so we can easily integrate this into Nuke. So we're like really, really avoiding a lot of steps upstream. Episodic content is generally all done in 4K and HDR. Nuke's ability to handle basically any files, regardless of the resolution, is crucial to this. Nuke's timeline and caching systems have evolved so much that uh, they allow the artists to work interactively in 4K without you know, losing time and their nerves and their sanity waiting for, uh, for scan lines to come down. It's very interactive, it's very intuitive, it's uh, flexible, uh, powerful, it's just crazy. <laughs> and we need a crazy tool for a crazy job. And Nuke definitely is a beast.